Okay, so I have this two gallon pot right here, roughly two gallons, it says uh, eight quarts. So um, I fill this up with uh, lukewarm water. Um, I'm actually going to pour a little bit of this out, um, but I'd like to add a little bit of vinegar to this. And that helps kind of clean off all the dirt and uh, anything else, the waxy labels and everything. They peel right off of any fruits and vegetables you might include. And for this batch, I've seen them done uh, a few different ways, but uh, they each seem to have their own kind of uh, method. It's not really a, a fixed recipe that I've noticed. There's some commonalities and everything, but uh, it changes batch to batch from the ones I've seen. And um, also today, we're going to be running it through the juicer. Uh, it's just a the cheap Hamilton Beach juicer. Every recipe I've seen, you dice up the uh, all the ingredients, and then you let them sit and infuse the actual tonic. And we're gonna try this juicer today and see how that works. I don't think it would hurt anything. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think it'd be more efficient. So let's prepare the uh, vinegar bath here, and then we can move forward. I'm gonna use approximately one cup. I don't think this is an exact science. And I'm going to pour a little bit of this water out because <clears throat> these vegetables are going to take up a little bit of space and I'm going to run the water over. So here's our horseradish root. This is not optimal. See how it's a little spongy? This is not very fresh. Now you're supposed to use fresh, but this is all they had available at the store. Uh, come to find out, um, you can buy the little jars of pre-processed uh, uh, horseradish. That's what I should have done here. Okay, uh, I'm not going to bother with the onion. That's just ridiculous. I'll try and wash the onion off. Um, also, uh, the garlic that goes in here, I suppose it should go over everything that's included. There's, um, people use a lot more garlic than the ones that I've seen. I'm just going to use one, uh, one bulb of garlic. Uh, I'm going to use five jalapenos, five habaneros, one white onion, the horseradish root and one segment of ginger and it's all approximate uh, I think if I had to do it over again I might have done some more garlic in here um, anyway to, to shed the skin off this garlic I'm going to try a new process that I saw uh, on YouTube yesterday um, I've seen them where they put them in the bowls and shake them up but I don't have uh, really that, that many bowls to spare uh, I'm just going to put it inside a mason jar and see if that'll work this stuff soak. You gotta be really careful handling these uh, hot peppers. The jalapenos don't worry about so much. Um, I've got kind of a high tolerance for uh, spiciness. Uh, I don't know where it comes from. <laughs> My cousin likes spicy stuff too, but I think we're the only ones in the entire family that can handle the hotter stuff. So. I'm going to let this sit in here and kind of uh, rinse for about 10 minutes or so and just pull them back out. And don't worry about the vinegar flavor. Actually, in this it wouldn't matter because it's being blended with vinegar, but on any fruit juices using this method, it doesn't affect the, the taste at all. If anything, um, when you when you wash your produce this way, I found that it will last much longer in the refrigerator. Um, it does a really good job of cleaning off the, the any dirt or residue or wax sometimes, like with apples. It, it gives it a nice crisp crunch uh, 
it, it makes everything uh, last longer, basically, I guess is the, the best way to explain it. So we'll let this sit for a little bit and then come back and start preparing everything. Should be able to fit all of this. This is 32 ounces. So what I'll do here is I'll just shake up this vinegar really well and um, I'll add the juice from all these vegetables in here into a, a quart jar and then use most of the vinegar to bring it up to level. So we should have just a little bit of vinegar left over, but not much. And I'll just use that for you know, another purpose. And let this infuse and uh, hopefully it'll uh, work as a cold and flu remedy or preventative. try a new method here to skin this garlic. I've never done it this way before. Um, I don't know if it's going to work or not. I'm skeptical. But uh, what I saw was you take a whole clove of garlic and then, you know, uh, put it in a bowl and shake it up and the the friction from, or the, the impact will break the, the garlic skin on there and you can just pick the, the pieces out. So um, I don't see a whole lot of difference from that between just crushing them down with your thumb and picking them off. But it might work easier I'm not sure so I'm gonna break this bulb and send a piece flying onto the kitchen floor so I'm gonna put each one of these in here and try to pick the skin out as I go doesn't do any good to put the skin in there I mean that's kind of the point of getting off I really don't know if this is going to work. I'm skeptical. I've seen it done, but there seemed to be a lot of editing. Okay, so that's all skin and root. That can go. I happen to have this old metal one here from my previous purchase. Uh, this won't actually fit on here, but I can keep it on. The idea here is just to shake this constantly. Ah, I'll be damned. It does work. Kind of. Uh, I don't see a big difference between just peeling the skin off each one. Um, huh. I mean, it works, but you might as well just break it. It just, it bruises the skin there, and it releases that oil, and it, the skin peels right off. Um, drop those right in here. You could just as easily do that yourself. Just, I guess it saves a little bit of, well, not really. I mean, you got to take the time to shake it up in the jar. I'm not convinced. See, like this piece didn't work. You just break it like that. And it peels right off. Just like if you were going to pick it out of the jar. So there's not really, there's not a reason to do that. Just dirty up the jar. It's going to smell pretty pungent in this kitchen. that should do it for the prep work. And those little garlic pieces are already in there. So we'll just move forward with, uh, I've got this little container here that came with this juicer. I think that's going to, that might actually hold everything. I'm not sure. We'll see. If not, I'll just put it into a, a little pint glass or a mason jar or something as we go.
these peppers through because that onion went through there and you know you normally get the uh, the teary eyes when you chop an onion as incredible when you run it through the juicer that is a completely different experience so uh we'll see how this goes i might uh might need to take a little break here <laughs> when we run these uh jalapenos and habaneros through so uh we'll see it's because it immediately followed the habaneros that horseradish really uh, you could feel it <laughs> uh, I think it's just the horseradish I think if I would have done that first I would have got the same reaction but uh, anyway uh, it's time to clean up and you gotta be really careful uh, when you touch this stuff don't touch your eyes I mean this is just in the vapor you know right now and uh so be super careful. Take this here, add it to the mason jar. Wow. Okay. You can see we got a lot more than I expected actually. Well, a little over a, a half quart, a pint or so. But I'm going to run that through strainer. A couple strainers actually. strainers you can get pretty much anywhere. I think I got these from Walmart. These little cups come in handy. Little green things. We have one last pour here. should come through pretty easy because it's pretty clear right now. Man, that's strong. Yeah, and you can see still there's a little bit of pulp left. So this should be really, really filtered when we're done. Okay, so what? Yeah, about a pint. So that's a little strong for half and half. I was going to just do a quart. That's too strong. Might do a half gallon. I get another one of these. We'll do a half gallon. Let's see if I can find another one. That's a pretty good ratio. A half gallon and then one pint of it being the actual vegetable juice. 